Hiya Paul, lovely to meet up with you at the range and begin doing some work on your swing. Just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. We've got the footage here on the top left. This is sort of five, ten minutes into your lesson and we've suggested at this stage that you turn both feet out 15 to 20 degrees. I'd like to see you more 20 to 25 long term and also that you put just a touch more weight on your left hand side. Now the reason we want that weight forward is it's not just the upper centre that moves, foot moves forward, it's the lower centre as well. So we've got the centre of the hips moving forward a touch, allows you to shift the plane of the swing out to the right a little bit. As we showed you on, on flight scope, a lot of the swings you were making initially in your session were aligned, or, or the swing plane, if you will, was aligned to the left. That was why the swing part, or the, the, the resultant shot pattern was very very erratic and the crux of this lesson initial lesson was to just create a consistent shot cone so what we're looking for is a shot pattern where balls start slightly right at the target and then draw back to the target or stay to the right of the target what we don't want is a shot cone where the balls can start left and right in varying degrees and we never we really know which way we're going to have to bend the ball back. So consequently, we never really know what to do with the club face long term. So establishing a good, consistent shot cone was goal number one. So feet turned out a little bit more, weight forward. The other suggestion was to just weaken this grip off a little bit. You see there, if I just zoom this up, you've got quite a strong left-hand grip. Now, the problem with a strong left-hand grip is it makes it very difficult for you to consistently start the golf ball out to the right. That's going to encourage the club face to squirrel up or close down too much. And whenever that happens, the ball's going to come out lower, as we discussed on the evening. If a club face is pointing just a couple of degrees to the right, it has more loft on it. Once we get the, the club with more loft, the flight goes up, the ball starts to the right and we're able to curve the ball back. In regards to the swing, you make a lovely back swing, nice and centred, left shoulder working down, good movement with the hips, we look at it from down the line. I would say a little bit too early a set or the club tends to set underneath and a little bit hooded during the back swing. And on this one here, this is at the start of your session, we're going to see again a club that works just a little bit too much underneath plane at that point. Uh, shoulders working a little bit too level here initially. But then towards the end of your session, this shoulder, left shoulder is starting to work down a little bit better. Uh, as a result, the arms work in as opposed to staying out more. So already just by trying to establish a shot cone down here with we've, we've been working with a cane six to eight paces in front of us just trying to consistently start the ball to the right and already things have started to change in your swing to allow that to happen. So we've shifted the weight forward, we've weakened the left hand grip and we're trying to, we've got some clear intention with every shot, we're trying to start the ball out to the right. Because of the takeaway and the consequent movement of the elbows and the arms, club face can get a little bit shut at the top and as I said before when we tidy up the backswing that I feel will tidy up also because sometimes that's a little bit of a false, uh, false position, optical illusion that makes the club face appear shut. If I was to squeeze those elbows together a little bit more that club face would start to weaken a little bit. Uh, at the top it would have a completely different appearance so start of the session no real clear intention club face comes down quite shut to plane and above plane towards the end of the session we've got a clearer intention we're trying to start the ball to the right every time so you can see now that the club is tracing the arc of the swing and is slightly more open to that arc so what we're looking for is a more consistent shot cone. 
as you come through on this one again very random in regards to what you're doing with the club phase rate of closure on this one's quite high taking loft off the golf club on this swing here we're now trying to consistently start the ball out to the right and you can see there that the rate of closure on the club face is nowhere near as substantial starting direction of the shot has also improved and if we come on through impact you can see there that we can see the club face more whereas on this swing we're looking down the toe end of the golf club so controlling the rate of closure calming the rate of closure on the club face down is essential and can only be achieved if we're working on a specific shot count trying to start the ball out to the right has stopped you releasing the golf club quite as much other little things that start to change also if we take a little look at the follow through it's only a small change at this stage but we're certainly heading in the right direction you can see here that the right foot is banked in rather than popped up so already the leg work has started to change started to improve based on what you're trying to do with the golf ball so it's almost like the task that we've got here is driving the changes in your swing so technically we've weakened the grip we flirt out the feet and we've moved the weight forward but then from a shot making context we're trying to start every shot up the right and that has also started to calm down the leg work calm down the release of the club and allowing you to work better within your framework of your golf swing so good luck with it look forward to speaking with you again and working with you further in the coming weeks well done